The, the list, list is, is out. out. <laughs> hey guys, you guys might be wondering what are we talking about? <laughs> well, at least babe. <laughs> the Dirty Dozen list of 2020 by the by EWG. EWG, yeah. And EWG, you guys, is the Environmental Working Group. Yeah, guys. So the Environmental Working Group is the nonprofit organization that does testing, or actually does review FDA testing on food products, but not only foods. What else do they? Beauty products, right. personal care products, your tap water, um, yeah. different foods, obviously. Yeah. So. So in this oh, case. Oh, cleaning products. Oh yeah, cleaning products. Cleaning products too. But today we're interested on the um, review on the test they do on foods, which is called um, the Dead a Dozen list. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, we'll put that up there. Um, so in this list, we basically we are talking about all foods, of fruits and vegetables specifically, which are highly likely contaminated with pesticides. And you guys, the EWG's mission is to empower people to live healthier lives in a healthier environment. So they're trying to inform everyone of all of these foods and products that found finds um these residues of pesticides, pesticides and toxins and trying to get the word out so that they can give you alternatives to use that are cleaner products if you're able to yeah now uh, the problem is most uh, conventional uh people like most analysts would say oh there's just a small amount of pesticides in these foods and this produce mm -hmm. um but b believe it or not, this could really impact our health, especially in the long run with continuous production of consumption of all of these foods. Yeah, it all adds um, up. It, all adds it up. might be a little bit in this one yeah. food, but you eat a little bit of this, a little bit of this every single day. Every single it day. just builds up the toxins in your body. Yeah, and pesticides are no joke. Really, mm -hmm. pesticides have been linked to so many many health conditions that they're finding out in science now. Um, wow. Yeah. In, sorry, in research, <laughs> not science. <laughs> Uh, I guess the same thing, right? <laughs> science and research, yeah. research go together. They do research in science. Yeah, but yeah, there, there's a lot of health hazards that could come across, that could come about from using um, foods with pesticides, um, such as. But what would yeah? What would cause? What would pesticides cause? Oh yeah. In your body. Think what they're finding like the most. I guess the one of the most biggest problems would be like cancers yeah different types of cancers yeah. and be linked to some ADHD and yeah. kids autism you know uh, Parkinson's, Parkinson's and yeah Parkinson's and yeah. so it's no joke you guys it's really serious yeah. it can cause so just because the minute amount of pesticides are found as they actually use the term residues right those could build up over time as we continue to eat those food products and um, today we want to talk about that um, the list. So every year the environmental working group comes up with a list, um, and to this year the list is still about the same as many other years, mm -hmm. with the number one food in there being strawberries, which we all love. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I've never come across anyone. If you don't love strawberries, them. leave a comment. Let us know because we don't know anybody that doesn't like them. When I think of strawberries, like the fruit of love, you know? <laughs> so everyone loves strawberries. So when we first found out about this list and I saw strawberries number one, my God, that hit me hard. And I before that, we had never yeah. eaten organic strawberries ever. Yeah. We just always bought. We just bought conven conventional strawberries, um, <laughs> you know. And it, guys, just so we want to make this clear, like we're in no way trying to tell you from eating. The foods and um, vegetables that are listed on this um, list is this is not our goal. Our goal no. is not for, for you to make you stop using these foods. Um, but this is actually a two-part uh, series video. Yeah. So in part two of this series, we'll be talking about other alternatives, foods which, when tested, are least likely to have pesticides and could be other alternatives. Yeah, we want to empower you with knowledge to be able yeah. to make the best choice for you. Yeah. So. And again, we continue to be remain sensitive about other people who cannot afford um, organic foods. Or don't have access. Or have access to mm -hmm. organic foods like we talked in past videos. Um, just uh, there are other ways probably like maybe decreasing the consumption of certain of these foods. Or you know, swapping them out with something them. that you can get away with buying yeah. non-organic, which we'll discuss in part two of our video. So, 
Yeah. But babe, before we get into the video. Before we get in, well, we're into the video. <laughs> before we get into the list, maybe. <laughs> We've been so talking far, to them for a while now. We're so far in the video. But <laughs> guys, okay. what do you have to do? Do they know? Well, if you're new here, we can tell you. You should subscribe to our channel so that you can be, and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified of our videos that come up in the future. Yeah, join the the Lucle the Lucle Life or the Lucle Squad, I yeah. like to call it. Yeah. Yeah. But back to the video. So we talked about strawberries being number one on this list. What you see next is that spinach and kale, which are two very very commonly used uh, veg um, veggies out there, are also been found to have so much so much residues of pesticides that they top this chart after strawberries. Mm -hmm. You know. And um, they actually found that kale has about 18 types of different pesticides. <laughs> yeah, I didn't and even realize it. Like, you do you realize that, like, and, and spinach too. Spinach had it's it's if you really look at it, it looks really close. It looks like spongy. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine how much stuff, it, how many pesticides and stuff it can absorb in that yeah. little leaf? Yeah. And, and so the, I didn't even realize. <laughs> And the thing is, you can't really get away with eliminating this exercise just by washing them. No. You know, even strawberries, washing them is not really good. They test, when they tested these fruits and all these fruits and vegetables, they also tested them before and after washing and they still found the same they, amount of They still uh, found, yeah, you can't residue. wash away all the pesticides. So, yeah, so really it's something which it, cleaning like, or washing will not remove yeah because it yeah. gets inside the fruit so it's strawberries hard, especially it yeah, they seem to have that very strong absorption of mm -hmm. these pesticides where a lot very washing, penetrable right yeah oh uh, and what's that one pesticide babe that's in kale kale oh yeah they that's, talked about that call right? yeah dacal or dcpa um this is actually a banned substance in europe <laughs> Can you and we're still consuming it <laughs> yeah in the oh US, the US still allows it for oh, you guys. <laughs> farm farmers to use um, in cropping in, a, in the food <sighs> industry. That's really sad. It's really sad. If and something is banned in Europe, <laughs> and the reason being because it's a carcinogen, basically it can cause cancers. Um, if something is thought to believe to likely cause cancers, how I, I still can grasp my head into it. Like, how, how do we allow that in the US? Mm -hmm. to be used in farming you know because so many people aren't even aware if you're not a farmer of these crops how are you supposed to know that they spray their weeds and mm -hmm. their plants and their crops with the stuff to try and keep bugs and stuff away right. how do you know that they use that and then you ingest it and you don't even know so we're really mm -hmm. trying to inform you guys as much as possible on all the research that we do yeah and also just um, even the use of the, all these chemicals, pesticides, they use in like trying to kill all the bugs and weeds mm -hmm. and cropping mm -hmm. and farming. It also comes with other side effects other than just health hazards. It's killing our soils. Yeah. You know, our soils have become so much more infertile over the year, mm -hmm. over the years. And it's requiring more and more <laughs> like all of these chemicals. Yeah, to, they can't grow as organically anymore. Yeah. So they need, you put it in a little bit and then it needs more and more and more to right. be able to grow that same crop in that same soil again. And yeah. it's just causing a really and, bad effect over the years. <laughs> yeah, and now they also come up with, like you're talking, referring to um, GMOs, genetically oh, modified gosh. organisms, like certain crops are really just you know this will help like increase the productivity of certain crops in a large scale mm -hmm. whereby if you didn't use gmo products if you got maybe a thousand strawberries let's say um, without gmo you probably only get a hundred so <laughs> gmos are like a shortcut to increasing productivity mm -hmm. but at the end of the day is what are the what what are the risks we are willing to take to use gmo products because all of these are not natural you know, no. genetically modified. So that, that doesn't say it's natural. No. When anything, something <laughs> is genetically modified, that means it's probably lab tested or lab manufactured mm -hmm. by humans. And Manipulated yeah. to for either more production or bigger or, you know, something like that to, mm -hmm. to ramp up the production of them. And, and which is also kind of ties into meats. Mm-hmm. 
because they pump like let's just say beef for example they'll pump the cows with hormones to try to produce more milk yeah. to beef them up to get more meat out of them and then you're eating that meat yeah. and eating not, all of the hormones and everything that they pump them it's with it's not natural like no. all of these things would have it's just like it taking drugs basically mm -hmm. you, you take drugs you have this expectation that you're gonna have side effects you know that's the same thing if you're putting all of these GMOs hormones on in foods you're not just consuming the natural food that you could have been consuming you're consuming drugs and Look at look just look at the cancer rates right now in the, the it's, it's skyrocketing it's crazy every time you turn around so many conditions like autoimmune conditions are skyrocketing mm -hmm. and there has to be I'm not saying I'm not blaming it on just foods yeah but food our diets nowadays has to be able to con contribute in some way yeah so, I think it's a big big contributor to these health issues and you know like he said not only what we eat but what we absorb in our skin what we ingest what we inhale yeah. you know all of this stuff and it's hard to be aware of all of it and obviously you can't get rid of everything but yeah. if you maybe you just take one baby step in this maybe you swap out one food or you limit one food cut back on a food or you switch out one cleaning product at a time instead of wiping it everything yeah. clean it can be very expensive but if you're able to maybe swap out one product here and one product there or one food here one food there it can end up making a big difference for you yeah um so that that's the list for 2020 guys uh, other things you'll find on here apples nectarines peaches, you know, peaches cherries grapes. yeah yeah um, but what about the bonus one Oh, the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> we found a bonus one on the Dirty Dozen this year. What was it? Uh, what was it again? I forget. Hot peppers. Hot peppers. Yeah, yeah. Hot so peppers. be careful of those. Yeah. What was the other thing? Um, they talked about raisins too. Being oh even... yeah, raisins. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> like I did not realize when we were doing our research. Yeah. Like we found that raisins. Um, listed even worse than strawberries. Yeah, they had more pesticides. More even, pesticides. Even switching to organic raisins, they, they still, still found, found some pesticides. Yeah. So their advice was to use prunes. Yeah, um, organic prunes. Organic prunes. Um, they're less likely to have mm -hmm. the pesticides. Like if you're a raisin lover, like I love raisins too. Uh, I, I used to we love both raisins. love raisins. Yeah. Um, Putting so that in cereal. if you feel like, oh, you have that craving for raisins, maybe just buy some organic prunes, cut them up really small, <laughs> and pretend they're raisins. They have they'll have a similar taste if you like if like it in oatmeal or cereal or whatever yeah. you put it in. So that was a that, that was a crazy thing. That we yeah. Found. So that was part of. Um, that wasn't part of this list that, no. that it doesn't because it's actually it's not considered a fresh produce or fruit mm -hmm. It's more like a dried fruit. Yeah, so that didn't make the list But uh, the authors were saying like oh if it made the list it would definitely ch chart number one mm -hmm. over strawberry mm -hmm. so that Because was really... grapes is on the dirty dozen and raisins is like comes from grapes. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah, so guys stay tuned for part two. We'll be giving you guys um, the other list the, the clean 15 is what they call yeah. it. Yeah, the clean um, 15. Ones that yeah. you can get away with buying non-organic. Non-organic. So you could has spray. less likely to have these pesticides. Yeah. So you can definitely save some money. Mm -hmm. um, so if someone tells you, oh, you have to buy this, any of these fruits or vegetables on this list organically, that's not true. You could actually save money. And the number one, I'm sure you guys will love it. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And don't forget, you guys, leave this video a like. Yeah. And um, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see family. part two. Yep. Yeah. We'll be we'll be coming up with part two in a, in a few. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Hope see you enjoyed you. this video. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Bye. Okay.